to your new school. Uh, we're disappointed not to be seeing you here tonight in person, but hopefully you can see and, and hear us very well. Uh, for those of you who don't know or don't remember me, my name is Mr. Bingham, and I'm the principal here uh, in Balmoney High School. Joining me tonight, uh, we'll have Mr. Watson, our vice principal, Mrs. Blair and Mr. Hargy, our heads of year eight. Uh, and you'll also get a brief hello from each of our uh, new year eight form teachers, there's five of them, uh, and then two of our current year eight pupils uh, are going to give you some tips on uh, joining Balmoney High School and some of the things that they experienced and went through. So we have a really good intake this year. We have a big year group of 130 uh, pupils from year seven coming into year eight. Uh, and that's fantastic and we're really excited about that. Don't be apprehensive or worried um, because everybody is in the same boat and in fact if anybody's probably apprehensive or worried it's probably more your, your mums or dads. Um, so we've also lots of new beginnings and that means new opportunities, new friends, new subjects, new uniform and it's really exciting and we're really excited for you. Um, so tonight is going to be about you getting ready to start. It's the first stage of you getting ready to start uh, this change. But just to keep you reassured, I think we'll look at the fact that some things aren't so new. And in fact, if you look at this list uh, over my left shoulder here on the left hand side of the screen in particular anyway, you'll see that um, uh, most of those things are all bits of equipment that you've used in primary school and the bits of equipment that you'll need to use here. So don't be necessarily throwing things out. If you want to, to go and buy yourself new stuff for, for your new school, that's totally fine. But you'll have a lot of equipment there already that um, will be very good and very useful for uh, for, for using in Balmany High School. But we do expect you to be ready for school. And those are some of the things that we'll put in there. Um, you will see that um, you will need your trying to get, use a pen drive and we do a lot, a lot, awful lot of computer work here as you notice when you've been around and seen all the computers so uh, it's about being able to save your, your work uh, and you also will save stuff within the school. You'll also be getting when you arrive uh, a new homework diary um, that looks very much like this and this is obviously for um, recording your homework in but it's also more than that it's, a, it's about it's a learning journal uh, it's about recording how you're getting on in school uh, and we base an awful lot around this, doc this document. Um, so uh, we'd really appreciate you looking after this when you get it and mum and dad's looking at it as regularly as possible uh, and sign it and we will be doing um, the same thing. So you see here, I've put on the, on the screen about a new curriculum. And uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with that word curriculum, well curriculum is the subjects that you will be learning. Um, and you'll see some of them are names that you'll recognise from primary school, um, English, maths, etc. Things that you've done uh, for years. But some of them are probably slightly new. But you will have studied them before. Uh, they just might be slightly different here in Balmoney High School. Some of them are subjects that you will be on your feet a lot of the time. Um, some of the subjects will you be, will be performing, will you be designing, will you be working in groups. So there's lots and lots of things there. Uh, lots of exciting subjects, things that maybe will interest you in a, a little bit more than others. Um, and so hopefully you'll be, you'll be looking forward to using some of the specialist equipment that we have here in school uh, to help you continue to learn. You also see there in the purple box, um, we have Accelerator Reader, which is something that many of you will have done in primary school. Um, we need to carry that on into year eight uh, through our library. We have Learning to Learn, which is a subject about actually how you uh, learn things better and coming up with strategies to help you learn uh, and then learning for life and work which is personal development, employability and citizenship and we will be studying that as we go through. So moving on um, you'll see here that we have our what we call our uh, Balmoney model for learning. Now you may or may not be able to see this on, on your screen but it is in the book that we'll be sending home so please um, don't panic if you can't see it, but it's just basically a model that we use to make sure that everybody is doing their part uh, as part of how we learn. So if you look up at the top of this model, we have what we expect from our pupils, our six R's in terms of learning, being respectful, uh, responsible, reflective, ready, resourceful and resilient. And we expect that from our pupils. Uh, and in turn, down at the bottom, then we have what we will be providing for you. So we'll be looking at things like well-planned lessons, personalised learning, so it's about individuals, not just the group, um, 
good classroom management and then effective feedback, how you did and how you could do better. And then in the middle of the model is what would go into a lesson. And obviously every subject is different and unique, but there's some of the same principles will always apply. Um, so you'd have a good look at that when you get your little booklet. In fact, you should have your little booklet that is in the pack that was sent home. Now, uniform. Um, and at the minute, um, shops, as we know, are still closed, but, uh, at the, certainly at the time we were recording this message, but uh, we know that some of the shops are starting to um, come up with uh, ways and means to supply uniform, and it's worth you contacting the shops uh, that we've listed in, in our booklet. Um, some of them are working online, some of them are organising uh, individual sessions where you can come in, so you can have social distancing and so on. So please do contact the shops uh, in order to make sure that um, you can find a way of purchasing your uniform. There are ways and means of doing it. Just so we're, we're clear, uh, obviously the boys and girls uniforms are slightly different, but similar in many ways. We have our blazer, uh, our jumper, which we, we, we ask people to wear. It keeps everything neat. We obviously our tie and, and a white shirt. And obviously the dark trousers for the lads uh, and the grey skirt for the girls. Uh, the trousers are an option also for the girls. In terms of shoes, uh, black shoes, and I say shoes, um, they make the uniform uh, much neater uh, than trainers. We, we say no to trainers. Um, so please make sure that the uniform is correct. And just moving on to the PE uniform, and um, we're very proud of our sport here. We're very proud of when we go out to, uh, to represent the school and teams. Uh, and I hope you can see that there. Again, this information about this is in the little booklet, but just to be clear, uh, the boys and the girls' uniforms are slightly different. The boys have their, their blue top, um, which they obviously use to do sport in, whether it be PE or games in school. Then also when they're out representing um, Balmany High School as a team. Uh, and you can see there the picture of the boys out uh, at a football match and they're wearing the same uh, uniform. Obviously the shoes um, will, will vary depending on the terrain and whatever they're doing. For the girls, um, we will be sending home information at the bottom of the slide here. I'm not sure how well you can see it on the screen, but they do not buy their, unif their PE uniform through the, uh, the usual shops. They will buy theirs online through stashshop.co.uk and then their password is balamoney-pe20 and that's all in the work case. So the girls will be obviously looking um, to go online and we'll give you more information about that. So please uh, don't panic overly about that. Now I mentioned, uh, I know I'm rushing through a lot of things here, um, but I did mention earlier about uh, our learning values. We've also spent a little bit of time um, this past year looking at our core values and what we value in the school and what we think Balmoney High School should look like, not just for pupils, but for staff and for anybody who's working and for parents. Uh, and so we, we, we came up with this new uh, acronym for our core values of REACH, respect, equality, aspire, commitment, and honesty um, and those are five words that we put together that we believe uh, represent what Fallen Money High School is all, is all about and underneath each of them we have a little sort of slogan just to kind of build on that a little bit more so respect for all everything and everyone equality same rights same opportunities same expectations aspire I can and I will watch me commitment committed every single day and that means all of the time and then honestly say the truth act the truth and be true to yourself and we believe if we all do our absolute utmost to maintain those values then we will continue to have the very successful school that we do have and then just our new strap line which encompasses all of that is giving you the opportunity to reach your potential so what does this reaching your potential look like uh, well, it's about education of the pupils, it's about individuals meeting the needs of all the pupils and we take care to ensure that boys and girls are supported pastorally. Uh, and I've mentioned this before, but I think it's important that you, as parents, um, are happy you know, and you understand the fact that we have a form teacher, uh, we have two year teachers in each year group, we have a senior link teacher, and I have an overall head of student support, a vice principal, Mr. Watson, and then myself. And we recognise it's not easy to learn if you don't feel happy. So boys and girls, you need to get to know who these people are, really important, and use them to help you. We also have lots of places in school uh, for pupils to meet, new friends, and enjoy Balmoney High School. 
uh, and these go from your form teachers rooms to a year eight playground to junior and senior corridors, the engage club start 360, the library, the assembly hall and the canteen, just to name a few of the places where maybe when you're not in lessons that pupils can meet up uh, and spend time together. Um, I've also mentioned on the board here policies um, and like any organisation we have a lot of policies and, and that just reflects uh, the way we work and how we operate uh, and a lot of time and effort has gone in by staff and uh, governors and so on to make sure these are right. Um, the vast majority of them are on our school website, not all of them, uh, but if you do request any others please do, um, do ask us and we'll make sure that you can get a copy of those. Now lastly, um, I'm just going to mention August uh, and September. It does look like this year is going to be different at this point, certainly in recording this message at this time it is different. Um, and we are waiting to see what the government clarification on certain things are, like how many pupils we can have in school at one time, how big our classes are going to be, how we can move classes around the school, um, how do we keep social distancing uh, and so on. Uh, and therefore, it does look like our usual three-day induction um, program for Year 8s will be curtailed, but we don't believe it will be cancelled. Uh, and we'll be certainly investigating ways to make sure that all pupils have a chance to go through some sort of an induction uh, process. We have asked in the letter that went home to you there a couple of weeks ago, uh, if you would uh, get us your um, possible contact telephone number and email address so that we can stay in touch with you about how um, that induction period looks at the end of August. So it's, we will be putting those sorts of messages on our social media, but we think direct contact is much more effective. So if you haven't got those into us, uh, if you get those into us as soon as possible, we'd appreciate that. But I thank you very much for listening. Uh, I'm now going to hand over to Mrs. Blair, our Head of Year at Girls, and she's also our teacher in charge of student support. Thank you. All the best. Good evening everyone, um, I'm Mrs Blair and as well as being Head of Year 8, I'm also Head of Student Support here at Valley Money High School. <clears throat> it's my job to ensure that the pupils are safe, supported and happy. Under normal circumstances, um, the move from primary to secondary school can be an anxious and scary time for a lot of children and parents. Uh, they are required to be more independent, to take on greater responsibility and this can all seem quite daunting. Rest assured, we are very familiar with the worries children face and we have an extremely effective transition and induction process. This is designed to help our children feel more positive about the move, even in these uncertain times. It's important that they develop a strong sense of belonging and not just within their class, but within the school and the life of the school. We have a robust peer mentor program in place and all pupils will get the chance to meet with their peer mentors in September's induction days. Uh, you may have viewed some of our current peer mentors on our school Facebook recently and they, as they continue to support our pupils with their mental health during this time of lockdown. Myself and Mr Hargey, as heads of year, are available to speak with pupils every day as are your form tutors, older pupils, peer mentors and prefects are around to help in the corridors, the cloakrooms and the playground too. There is always someone to ask for help when it is needed. A strong sense of belonging is something we nurture and build upon from day one. The secondary school campus is much bigger and there are lots more people around. And this will seem like a challenge to many, but we encourage our children to see this as a positive. They will have an opportunity to make lots of new friends and build strong and supportive relationships with peers. Year 8s have their own playground too, which is something we set up based on pupil feedback. So that might make you feel a little less anxious. We have a wealth of extracurricular clubs, events, teams and activities going on in school every day of the week and we strongly encourage our Year 8 pupils to get involved in these. <clears throat> you will get the chance to meet your Year 8 form tutor shortly. Ordinarily you would be able to meet your new form class pupils but don't worry we have plans in place for this on August too. Another of my roles in school is designated teacher for child protection. Mr Watson, the Vice Principal, who you will meet shortly, is the Deputy Designated Teacher for Child Protection. But don't worry, all of this information is in the policy documents that Mr Bingham mentioned previously. I'm very pleased and proud to say that we have a very high quality of pastoral care here in Ballymoney High School. We are well known for it in the local community and the recent ETI inspection rated our quality of pastoral care as outstanding. The child's needs are paramount in all that we do as a team of staff and as a school. 
We are committed to promoting a safe and secure environment where pupils have a strong sense of belonging and which all pupils experience the best possible outcomes. We do have a suite of safeguarding policies that we follow rigorously to ensure our children are safe and secure and experience success. You will be given these in your pack. In Ballymoney High School, we acknowledge our pastoral responsibility towards our pupils and recognise that all children and teenagers have a fundamental right to be protected from harm. Young people cannot learn effectively or develop unless they feel secure. We have a responsibility for pastoral care, general welfare and the safety of the children in our care and we will carry this out duty out by providing a caring, supportive and safe environment where each child is valued for his or her unique talents and abilities and which all our young people can learn and develop to their full potential. The three main elements to our safeguarding policy are prevention, protection and support. Be assured that all staff in school, teaching and non-teaching, are trained in child protection and this training is updated regularly. Through our anti-bullying policy, we encourage an environment which promotes dignity and respect at all times. Individuals have the right to feel safe and happy and protected when they are feeling vulnerable. We work together to prevent bullying and deal with it sensitively and effectively when it arises. As a school, we are members of the Bullying Intervention Guild and recently we have just been awarded the Bullying Intervention Guild Award for Excellence in Addressing Bullying, which we were quite pleased about. Um, just finally, can I urge you to take your time, read through our safeguarding policies and familiar yourself, familiarise yourselves with our procedures. As always, we welcome any feedback and are more than happy to answer any questions that you might have or any clarification that you may need. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Mr Hargey and I'm head of Year 8 along with Mrs Blair. And I would just like to use my opportunity to reassure you about the sometimes anxious and scary move from primary school to secondary school. And when we say that there, we know we're just not talking about the pupils. It's our job, along with parents, to make this move less scary and to provide the support necessary to make sure all of our new year eights are happy. Our new year eights are required to be more independent, to take on greater responsibility, and this can all seem understandably very daunting. Rest assured, we're very familiar with all the worries that children face and have been planning for an uh, induction programme later on this summer. This will help our children feel more positive about the move to Balmona High School. It's important that they develop a strong sense of belonging, not just within their class, but within the life of the school as well. We have a peer mentor program in school, and this has been put in place uh, for our new pupils uh, so that they can meet their uh, peer mentors later on in the autumn term. Peer mentors are year 11 students who volunteer to act as mentors for year eights. They are a source of guidance, support and reassurance. From helping year eights understand their timetable to locating rooms or issues around making friends, peer mentors are often the first port of call for our year eights. The Mrs Blair and I are available to speak with pupils every day, as are their form tutors. Older pupils, peer mentors and prefects are around to help in the corridors and in the club rooms. And year eights even have their own playground. There is always someone to ask for help when it's needed. Now the secondary school campus is much bigger and there are many more people around. And this will seem like a challenge at first, but we encourage our children to see this as a positive. They will have the opportunity to make new friends and build strong and supportive relationships with their peers. We have a wealth of extracurricular clubs, events, teams and activities going on in school almost every day. And we strongly encourage our year eights to get involved in these. Now, I'm going to let you hear a message 
from two of our current areas. My name is William. We have just finished our first year at Balmany High School. Although it did not end the way we expected, it has been a very enjoyable time at secondary school. I would like to share with you what it has been like for me as a new pupil at Balmany High. There are so many subjects that we got to study at secondary school that we didn't do at primary school. My favourite subject is art because I like to draw. I have also been able to get involved in different clubs and sports. I go to the breakfast club for my breakfast and chill and chat on a Monday at lunch. I have got to try many different sports and my favourite is cross country. My advice for all of you coming to Balmany High in September is not to be panicking about moving to secondary school. There are so many teachers and pupils to make sure your rates are okay and finding their way around the school. And if you're ever worried about anything, always tell your form tutor or head of year. That's what they're there for. And they will make sure any problems are quickly sorted out. I hope you find this information useful. Have a great summer. My name is Erin. I was a bit nervous before coming to Valmoney High School as I was transferring from a small primary school. But the induction days in August really helped to ease any worries I had. I was able to make a lot of new friends in my form class and got to meet some of my new teachers. There is a lot of support for new year years joining Balmoney High, as well as our heads of year and form chairs. We also have peer mentors that helped us find our way around the school and to understand our new timetable. We also have our own playground at break and lunch, and there are year eight only lunchtime clubs that are great fun. One of the main differences between secondary and primary school is that you get to move around the school each day to your different classes. In the morning, you could be studying the Romans in history. After break, it might be programming in ICT. And then after lunch, we could be begging in home economics. My favourite subjects are French, art, music and PE. I have also been able to get involved in different clubs and sports like netball and hockey. My advice is to make sure you get involved in different clubs and activities that are happening in school every day. They are a great way to make new friends and always have lots of fun. Stay safe and we will see you in September. Thanks William and Erin for taking the time to put your uniform on and share your experiences with us. And hi, Future Balmoney High School first years and parents. Take some time and let that sink in. Can you believe you're going to be the youngest in the school again? Parents, can you believe your kids are that age? It's great to have you join us on, on our induction video. My name is Mr David Watson and I'm the Acting Vice Principal here at Balmoney High School. This event is one of the events I look forward to most in the school calendar. We normally get a chance to meet with people we are going to spend the next five years of our life with. It's an exciting time. Normally, by this point, we will have come around some of your schools and met some of you one-on-one. -on -one. Unfortunately, that's not been the case. But what I know from having spoken to some of your teachers we already have a lot of potential in this group. Normally on this evening, we would find out about your class for next year and go and spend some time meeting your form teacher. Whilst you're away, getting to know your new classmates, I would stay here and bore your parents with information about assessments, attendance and policies. Unfortunately this year, we're all going to get to hear this information unless you decide to skip to the end of this video. But before I outline some of the finer points, Balmany High School, I'd like you to meet next year's Year 8 form teachers. Hello Primary 7 and soon to be Year 8. I'm Mr McMullen and if you're in my form class next year you'll be part of ASM. We meet every morning to check you in and to check that you've got everything for the day ahead. We also share announcements and we go to assemblies twice a week and also um, you can ask me anything any concerns that you might have or anything for that day ahead or week ahead. Um, I'm really looking forward to meeting you all and I hope to see you all soon. Um, take care and have a lovely summer. Hello P7, soon to be our year eight at Balmain High School. We are so looking forward to meeting you and it will be sooner rather than later. Now I'm especially excited because I'm going to be a year eight form tutor this year. And because my name is Mrs. Michael Rath and my initials are RM, you're going to be 8RM. 
and when you come to see me every morning, we will do registration together, we'll go to year assembly, we'll go to assembly, and you will come to my classroom, which is in the Kent wing, um, near technology in our school, and you will see me every morning. So don't be worrying about a thing. I'm also the mum of a P7 pupil who will be starting school in September as well. And I understand exactly all the thoughts that are going through your head. But I am there every morning to help you. We'll prepare for the day and we'll talk about the day before. We'll talk about the day ahead. And I'm there to make sure that it's all excitement and nothing to worry about. So I really look forward to seeing you then. Have a good rest of the summer and see you soon. Bye. Hello, Year 8s. We're soon to be new Year 8s. Welcome to Ballymoney High School. My name is Mrs. Caskey. No, not him, me. I'm Mrs. Caskey. Ignore that boy there. I'm going to be, for some of you, your new form tutor in year eight. And you are very welcome. Just going to show you my room. This is what it looks like. And I'm sure you can tell I'm a science teacher. So some of you will be coming down to this lab every morning to get your role marked. Now, I can't wait to meet you. And I'm sure you're maybe a wee bit nervous about coming back and end of August, September. Um, new school, strange conditions out there, but hey, we're all going to be one big happy class. I can't wait to meet you, so you make sure that you get all your stuff and get excited and get ready to meet me come the end of the summer. Can't wait. See you then. Bye. Hello, my name is Mrs. Taylor and my form class is AIT. I'll be seeing you in the morning for registration. I'm a maths teacher and I'm in room 63 in the Homes Wing, which is part of the new build. Looking forward to meeting you all soon. Bye. Hello, I'm Mrs. Valentine and this is room 21, where we have our form class. You'll be in 8PB whenever you start. Come on in, this is where you'll be. In the morning we meet together to check who's here and if you're here nice and punctual, if you've got your right equipment and a nice neat uniform and are doing well in all your classes, I'll be able to give you credits for that. There's also a, an attendance award given out in assembly and I love when our class gets that too. I'm really looking forward to meeting you and to getting to know you all. So it won't be too long and I hope you're looking forward to it too. See you. Bye bye. Thank you form, form teachers. In terms of your class groupings, because of the pandemic, we have decided to let you know your class groupings at a later date. This will give us time to gather the valuable information which helps us choose the right class for you. And we will be in contact about this during the summer months. My key messages from tonight is there's a lot to think about. Don't try and take it all in at once. This video will stay live and there will be other information dropping in over the course of the next few weeks and months via mail, including class groupings. Don't overload yourself with things. We will do what we can to make sure this transition is as easy as possible. I'd like to start by briefing you on assessment. Assessment is a continuous feature of life at Balmany High School, but we have three main assessment windows throughout the year. In November, February, March and June, we have what we call assessment weeks. Your booklet will show you a mini version of the report you will receive after assessment one and two. You'll notice that each child receives an individual target. Teachers set targets based on indicators such as PTE, PTM and CAT, as well as teacher judgement. We find it more common that parents are more aware of these indicators, which is nice to see. By setting targets using these mechanisms, it all allows pupils to be treated as an individual and pushed towards achieving at their potential. You'll also notice application and behaviour grades. These are to give an indication of how a teacher feels wee Johnny is applying himself in your class, or how well behaved he has been. In the June report, you'll also have more detailed written feedback from teachers to help explain how wee Johnny has achieved to the extent he has, as well as outlining what he needs to do to improve. Attendance. The key message here is, miss school, miss out. If people are unwell, then we understand, but we'd ask for your support in this manner. 19 days off is 90% attendance. A scary piece of research would suggest that this is proven to reduce the grade achieved at GCSE level by one grade. 19 days can soon add up, so please give this consideration. We as a school will closely monitor this and we'll, we'll try to stay proactive with regards to any concerns. 
Missing school also means you miss out on our monthly prize draw for pupils who have 100% attendance for the month. This is worthwhile in itself. Admin forms. The EA are now embracing the online world and have now made information forms available online. Please check them out at eani.org.uk if you believe that you're entitled to any of the, the three areas listed on the screen or speak to us in the school office and we'll point you in the right direction. As a school, we have a number of policies for the many different aspects of school life. The main ones that we believe are applicable to you and your children we have placed on our website. Paper copies can be made available from the school office upon request. But please have a good look at these and feel free to contact us if you have any concerns. Registration packs will be sent home in early September asking me for you to complete on issues such as administration of medicines, further contact details and of course school fund. £20 per pupil or £30 per family. Also on our website we have next year's holidays and a simple calendar of some of the key dates for you to plan around e.g. assessment weeks, parent information evenings, parents consultation events. We do want you to be able to plan things around those and we try very hard to stick to the dates published but if we ever need to, to change things we will be in touch. Can I emphasise the importance to us of creating a partnership with yourselves? We value your input and knowledge and value your opinion on your child so do not be afraid to engage with us. When school and home work together, we achieve so much more for our young people. To support this partnership, I want to highlight some of the key ways we will share information, be in contact and encourage you to get in touch. It should go without saying that dur during normal school hours, we can be contacted on the phone. But in these times we are in, we have a, made a great effort to expand our avenues of communication and encourage parents to make use of these. Our website is loaded with updates and information. Most common questions can be answered here. If you can't find what you're looking for on our website, our email address can be found on our website. We also respond to our Facebook Messenger. If you have any further questions, feel free to send a message to either of these areas and we will get back to you as soon as we can. At this point, I'd like to make you aware of our latest venture as a school. We have invested in Sims Parent and Student apps. We had initiated these apps prior to the pandemic, but have found them invaluable in our response to it. These apps allow for school to send updates direct to both student and parent phones, whether it be reports, information about attendance or simply a message to inform you of some general information. I encourage you to get involved with these apps going forward. Pupils will be able to get you set up once you are with us in September, but parents, it is vital that we are made aware of an email address by which to contact you on. Following from that, there are step-by-step -step guides on how to set yourself up. In closing, I'd like to thank you for making an effort to watch our induction video. As a school and staff, we pride ourselves on being personable, so we look forward to this kind of event where we can spend some time together and get to know you. We are sorry we can't do that tonight, but look forward to seeing you soon. I'd also like to thank you for trusting us, trusting us with the responsibility of educating your children over the next five to seven years. They will be a blink, but it is important for us all to acknowledge that these years will shape the future you are able to make for yourself, whether through subjects you study, friends you make, or experiences you have. We look forward to helping you prepare for your future. Thank you.